Alright, welcome back to Hollow Knight, everybody. We are at a whopping 98% completion. This may be one of those games that goes above 100% completion, which would be kind of weird. But hey, Donkey Kong 64 does that too, and I love that game, so... Yeah. Let's just continue on. So, last time, we didn't really make that much progress at all. We tried to beat the third arena battle and failed miserably. We did find the final piece of pale ore but we can't afford to get the nail upgrade, so we have to find some more money. And we beat Zolt another time, but there is still yet another fight for that, so I think that's very dumb. Today, we're going to try to find the birthing place, and Proxima is giving me the hint. We're looking for the main character's origins. Where do we know that th that the knight has family? Well, I thought we were an only child. So, that's going to have to be a bit of a puzzle for me. Uh, we could try going back to where we fought... I don't know if Hornet's supposed to be related to us. We could try going back to the place where we first fought Hornet. That's better than nothing. Yes, Elementation Hero and I are going to continue the multi-world. We're not getting epi oh, an episode every week or anything like that. We're, we just we record it whenever we can, but uh, we have differing schedules, so it oftentimes is a little tough... Whee! Well, at the very least, we can start defeating some of the enemies in here and get some money. My hunter's journal might have another hint if I look near the bottom. Okay, interesting. Oh, that's true, we can look. Self-proclaimed Knight Pale Lurker. <laughs> Gorb. Ah, Gorb, I forgot about you. Sibling? Uh, that might... Wait, defeat three more to decipher the hunter's notes? What? Is that why my ex-wife's icon keeps appearing? Could she be a hunter? Hmm. So this is not the same as the shade. Interesting. So, I can't remember exactly where we fought them. But maybe it was in the teacher's archives? Maybe? Not really sure. Again, I've been streaming this for so many months, and I've taken weeks off, so I don't remember for sure where a lot of this stuff was. No, didn't want to fall that far down. Yeah, you're not hitting me with that explosion with that explosion today. Whew. I'm not even going the right way. I went too low down. Green path is the other way. <laughs> oh, that's right. The bushes are here to tell me that this is the way. May as well pick up some geo on our way. Welcome to Green Path. Uh. Uh. 
I'm much too strong for you. So I think I just kind of go straight. I can't remember exactly where we fought Hornet. It was either in the Lake of Oon or... No, I think it was in the Lake of Oon. But actually, I'm pretty sure that's not where we're supposed to go. Again, I, f I can't remember if there was still more stuff in the teacher's archives. There were some weird tanks there, but I don't remember if that's where we fought the weird shadow siblings. I would love a small hint. <laughs> hint, you're in the opposite part of the map that you're supposed to be on. I know what the I know the siblings are black. I remember the teachers' archives had tanks. I couldn't remember if they were. They must like dark area. Hmm. Maybe the deep nest. I don't really want to go back to the deep nest, but. Well, one way or another, we can always go to a stag station. Oh, and speaking of which... Yeah, I think this is where we fought Hornet. I just want to check out the area again. She did kind of just disappear on me. Yeah, this is, this is where we fought her. I don't think I've been here before. Gl I'm glad I went this way. Because this is definitely new. What could this lead to? making this earthquake. Oh, um, hi. The shape of Oon. Huh. Well, thank you. And hello, Mobius. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, he was big boy. Can I talk to him, or is he just there to leave me a little gift? Alright, I am glad I went this way. Unfortunately, I don't get the reference. Oon is a slug baby? That was definitely not a baby. Oh, that hurts me? I thought I could ride it. Oh. Is this just one of the nail masters? I forget. Alright, well what does that do? We probably could have gotten that a while ago. The shape of Oon costs two. Reveals the form of Oon within the bearer. While focusing soul, the bearer will take on a new shape and can move free. What?! So good! Well, that would have been great to have way earlier! And I could have gotten that ages ago. I do not listen to Ed Sheeran, or whoever that is.
Good lord, I can't believe that, that ba I haven't gotten that badge yet. That seems like it would be one of the most basic badges. And they're like, let's hide it in this really obscure area after you get one of the more advanced skills. I've heard the name before, I just don't actually listen to it. Oh, Sid's playing Animal Crossing. Alright, let's head to the Deep Nest. <laughs> hey, Nintendo Addict, welcome! Yeah, I, I kind of wish I'd gotten that or, uh, earlier. You probably won't be. I, you probably won't be able to run while using it. You probably are only going to be able to walk around. I'm expecting that. That's still better than nothing. So maybe one of these cobweb areas here. Because one of these we got kidnapped into. Oh, it was this one. Do 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 do. I wonder. Well, again, this is where we got kidnapped that one time. I'm not sure if there's anything more we can do here. Give me the money! So there are these weird... Mm. We. This is still weird to me. Like, this room seems to have nothing to do in it. But it seems like there should be something to do in here. I can kind of jump in there. I'm not sure what you mean by I can dash through them. I clearly cannot. Well, as we're talking about that dash, but that also didn't work. Oh, you were. Okay, hang on. Maybe there's some latency. You were talking about this guy. and sunny. That seems strange for the deep nest. Well, that's right, they hit hard. I've looked for the shallow nest, I can't find it. Sorry, folks. Ow, my butt! Wait, does that... What? That takes me all the way back to the... Be what? That's so dumb! That was so far away, though. Okay, now that takes me back to the weird room with nothing in it. This is the way. I'm 
I'm gonna go for all of this and it's gonna be like, well, there's nothing to do. Just watch. Ow, my butt! I also, by the way, have not found any use for the rancid eggs. I don't know if that's the whole joke, that the rancid eggs are a genuinely useless collectible, or if there's actually something that we can use them for that I haven't found yet. But either way, I have like 14 or so rancid eggs that just are taking up space. Oh, that's much easier. Man, this is a lot bigger on the inside than it looked on the outside. Do you have to give the rancid eggs to Gigi after you get all of the upgraded badges? There's a tap dancing spider that's just kind of going nowhere. Okay, so this is where I was originally kidnapped. Oh, the, rancid, the, the spider's down here. Now he's not. Oh, yeah. Oh, do you have to give him rancid eggs in order to make him give you your shadow back? Is that how it works? Is there seriously nothing back here for me to do? One on this wild goose chase for nothing? Oh, that's it. That's so strange. So the rancid eggs are kind of, I don't want to say like extra lives, but kind of. And what's really, what's really annoying about this area is that there's no map. Oh wait, there is. Well, there is a map, but it's all on the one, one spot. We We're walking in the air. Oh. There we go. Alright, so that's... Can, is there, like, another home we can enter, maybe? Not friends. They lied. Uh. Sorry to hear that. So, uh. Maybe I can get, like, a badge in here or something? Friends lie all the time. I'm not saying it's good, but they do. Maybe it's about something little, like, hey, you look great in that dress. Still a lie. You think friends don't lie? Just play among us. <laughs> I'm not talking about me looking good in a dress. I would never put on a dress. I was more using that as an example of guys telling girls they look good in the dresses. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hey! Do we get the entry for that? Let me squash that rumor right now. I am not wearing a dress. I have never worn a dress. I never will wear a dress. Just so we're all on the same page. Uh, 
Uh, I'm taking it the siblings were not found here. Well, yes, if you're a dude, generally you don't wear dresses. Seeing as how almost every single person in my Twitch chat is a dude, I'm assuming the answer is no. Somewhere even darker and deeper. Oh, I gotcha. We're going to the hot springs. Uh-oh. Okay, let's, let's take the bottom route. I know normally the top route is the best route, but not now. Oh! Hitboxes. <laughs> That's why I like the extra long nail. <laughs> Alright. No! You came out of nowhere! That's not fair. Well, great. Now I broke my greed charm. Because, of course I did. Well, I guess this means we can try out the shape of Oon. Okay, that was less than desirable. That also was not desirable. Oh, is this going to be one of those situations where it's like, hey, God, your shade is in this room, but he's actually not? This guy is still hard to beat, even with the Shadow Dash. Oh, great! There goes all my Geo! Lovely. Well, I didn't have a whole lot, but that's going to be super annoying to get, the, get all that back up again. Why are those guys so annoying to defeat? What in the world would I need 15,000 Geo for? If you actually need that much, that's really stupid. Unless there's like a treasure trove somewhere that gives you 15,000 when you find it. Was it really 15,000 for- oh yeah, you're right, it was. I stand by what I said, that's still a stupid thing I had to do. Yeah, when that guy's in the tunnel like that, it's really hard to get rid of him. We 
We can move around like a little worm while we're uh, healing. That's pretty cool. There are two more arcane eggs to find. Really? I mean, I believe it. Ha, wood. Alright, so we have to get back up to the Geo. That's fine. There are places to grind Geo. So I'm guessing if we go to the deepest, darkest place in the deep nest, we may find what we're looking for. I don't know for sure, but just judging by the hints. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's right. There was a series of tunnels where I was fighting dark versions of the night, wasn't I? Or was I or did I dream about that? I thought it was this area. Oh yeah, this friendly area. I mean... Oh, that's right. Okay, so it's not here. Alright, where else could it be? So if we go to the map... Okay, yeah. There is an area above that. Well, actually, wait. Near where the fungal waste is. Okay, yeah. It just doesn't show that part on the map, because that part is technically fungal wastes. Alright, so he wasn't there. That's fine. I would say place bets, but I feel like half the people here know where to look now. And I'm just the one in the dark! Uh -huh. do, do, do. Ah, I've been looking for this. Okay, so it's good to know that that's pretty useful. That's... oof. Oh wait, I already have Unbreakable Strength equipped. Why did I think I didn't? You want the Nail Master's Glory? Nope. <laughs> you sure? We gotta bring out Spider Friends again. For moral support. Were they in the failed tramway? I forget. Hmm. This just this game just kind of shows when I play a game, oftentimes it's in one ear, out the other. Where it's like, I don't remember where that happened. Did that happen? I don't think it did. Ouch. I think that's the wrong way. Ouch. Oh yeah, that's where I got the shadow dash. Does the background look familiar here? Uh...
Trick question, it looks like Hollow Knight. Oh, it's not in the deep nest, it's in the ancient uh, basin, or is it the ancient basin where it's called? The old kingdom area. Oh, it is ancient basin, I remembered it! Good thing I'm close to the tram station. Come, spider friends. Avengers assemble. Do, 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 do. Ah. It really is nice to sit after a nice long day of doing nothing in the deep nest. Spider friends agree. One more for good measure. Alright, so maybe... Was it in the abyss? I don't really want to have to go back to the abyss if I don't have to, because it's a pain in the butt to climb out of. I don't think it was over by where the... Uh... <coughs> the, the lost kin was. <coughs> Excuse me. My sneezes are always violent, and they always come in multiple numbers. Thank you. I mean, the abyss probably is where it was, because there's not much else to the ancient basin. Ow! My butt! My bottom! How dare you! Alright, the abyss is this way. I just remember the abyss was the place where I got, like, pretty much all of the shadow upgrades. Our pure vessel has ascended beyond lies only the refuse and regret of its creation. Well, this definitely seems like it's the promising area. Whee! Oh! I hadn't found that deposit yet. Not to be confused with that one annoying level in Star Wars pod racing. I need to equip the cane soul. Oh great, the nearest bench is nowhere in the abyss. Alright, I'll equip the cane soul, but I still kind of want the spider friends as well. Star Wars Episode 1 Racer. Great racing game. But the Abyss was a garbage level on that. Oh, hey! Would it kill them to have put a bench in that crazy experimentation area? I feel like it wouldn't have been that hard to put it in. Hmm. 
No, I can't see geo deposits on the map. Wee hoo! Rock and roll. There is a bench in here, right? There is. It's just on the other side. Sneaky, sneaky. Kinsoul needs... Not six, right? Just five? Just five. Cool. We can take the spider friends along. And we can also take them along... Uh... I feel like almost all of the ones that are worth one are terrible. Except for Steady Body. Steady Body is, like, good for one. The Compass is also good, but and so is the Geo Magnet, but then it's like, okay, the Spore Shroom, like, the Thorns, anything relating to, like, the Dream Nail or the Nail Arts? Uh-uh. I ain't doing that. The Abyss. Stare too long at the Abyss and the Abyss stares back. Oh, wait. Wait, I want to go up there. Deep blue stone atop a die. I thought that was the area where we enter. Oh no, I bet that's where we need to go with all the stuff. Ow, my face! Well, we can go there as well. Come, spider friends. We ride. I don't need it, but if I want the extra charm slot from what's-his-face... Probably not here. Actually, how many We only have... Four charms left, and I think one of them is one we get from the charm guy. Ow. That's why I generally don't use Super Grover Dash unless I have to. Because I feel like you often only go a short distance before it's like, and it's a wall. And we go down, down, down. There we go. This is creepy. Look at all these. Oh, that was a black thing that I managed to dash through randomly. Look at all these Hollow Knight, uh, masks. This is a little unnerving. Are you- why, you- you were trying to intimidate me here? Oh, please. You're not creeping me out. Uh, the Shadow Temple's my favorite Ocarina of Time dungeon. You're not creeping me out with this. I feel nothing. Especially with the spider friends on my side. Try to explore the far left of this area. But I like the right. An arcane egg. Ow. Well that wasn't well that wasn't very nice, that wasn't. Thanks for the tip, I appreciate it. In a giant maze like that, that would be easily missed, so I do appreciate that.
How many babies can bugs have? Oh, it depends on the type of bug, but yeah, they reproduce at a faster rate than humans do. Okay, we got a long-forgotten shell of a chain chomp here. Cool. <laughs> I'm so glad you don't share a room, friend. Wait. You sealed up the area again. Oh, hey, I can see myself. Hey, good looking. Ow. Who's this hunk? Who's this hunk? I'm just a hunk, a hunk of burning in love. All this just for a dead end with spikes? Also, you gotta love how it's like you entered a giant maze where there's no way of telling which way to go. No map. I love Elvis Parsley. Okay, that's where I got the arcane egg. Oh my gosh, I know. Yeah. I always forget about that because it's so useless in most cases. Well, we just died. You dream nailed yourself. Game over. No cost too great. Uh oh. These are all the guy. This is the place where all of the times you die in the game go. All of your corpses go. Hmm, that's a little disconcerting. I'm... We're okay! Oh, now we're back in the abyss. Or actually, no, this is not the abyss. This is somewhere else. Who keeps chucking corpses down here? Ooh, I like this. No mind to think. Well, actually, I think brains are pretty important. In fact, I think we'd be doing a lot better as a society if more people had a functioning brain. No will to break. That's another thing. People don't really have a proper will. You gotta get it notarized, you know. Otherwise the government gets everything. No voice to cry suffering. Now see, that doesn't mean you can't feel suffering. It just means you can't complain about it born of God and void. How about just the first of those? Ooh, I love the violin. Oh, hey! It's me! Hey, help me up. Oh, hey, it's the, the old cane. Oh, no, that guy's got fancier horns. Hi, want to be friends? Oh, come on, man! Come on! First off, I can't grab in this game until it's a cutscene, which is dumb. You shall seal the blinding light that plagues their dreams. You are the vessel. You are the Hollow Knight. No, I'm the Hollow Knight. You collected the Void Heart. I like the King Soul better, maybe. Man, I had the weirdest dream, spider friends. I dreamed that I was climbing a pile of corpses. And that's about it. So what does this do now? This charm is part of its bearer and cannot be unequipped. 
Well, that's interesting. Am I to assume that if we fight the final boss now with the, that equipped, that uh, something will change? Also, does that mean we just permanently have the King Soul's abilities? Like, we're just always going to get Soul now? Because if so, that's really good, and uh, I might reattempt the arena again if we, uh, <laughs> if we have that. <laughs> Although a lot of my problems with me. Oh, I don't have to hurt the shadows anymore? Oh, sorry. I'm just so used to it. No spider friends. They're okay now. Well, alright. I will... You know, again. I'm not making any promises. I will get 100%. I will play as much as I have fun doing. So if, if the arena ends up sucking... I don't care, I'll be at 99% for eternity. Well, I mean, the arena does suck, but... If I find that I can't beat the arena... <laughs> I will stop. We are at, I believe, 98 or 99%. 99%! Ow! My chest! Alright, well, well, let's find out if we just gradually are recovering soul all the time. Ow! Or did we wait? It's like, oh, the keen soul doesn't work anymore. There is only void soul. Ow. Oh. We don't get the perma bonus. Save those pennies. <laughs> wah, wah, wahoo! I mean, it's from life. But if I say, save those pennies in the voice, like, save those pennies, I'm quoting Arthur. Each charm is worth 1%. I just have to repair the greed charm to hit 100%. Oh, so this is definitely a game, then, that has more than 100%. But guys, repairing that charm costs money. Whee! All right, well, you can't unequip that. Fine. Unbreakable heart. Uh, lifeblood heart. Joni's blessing. Is there another charm that boosts your max HP that I'm forgetting about? Because if this is all that we need... <laughs> now that's a good amount of HP. I already had an Unbreakable Heart equipped. I have Unbreakable Heart, Lifeblood Heart, and Joni's Blessing. So, if I am to grind up Geo, where's the best place for that? I know you said kill the hoppers, so is that all in just the old kingdom in the Far East? How'd I get so many lives? I have a bunch of badges equipped that all increase my max HP. Problem is, I can't heal with this setup. <gasps> no! Oh, that might be bad, actually. I desperately wanted to not take damage, but it didn't give me a choice. Nope, that's fine. Ooh, it's lighting up the Christmas tree lights. Uh-oh, I might... Might not be enough. 
Am I one short because I took that one bit of damage? No, no, it should work. Although, I could boost my max HP by a little bit before attempting Zoe. That could be something to do, but I'd rather use my badges on other stuff. Oh, this is... Oh, no, I don't like this at all. That's a lot of spikes. Uh, yikes! Follow the glowing lights. That's what I'm assuming from this. It's another charm. It's Lifeblood Core. Well, let me guess, it does the exact same thing. Oh. Okay. Too late. Well, let me guess, I missed out on an arcane egg. Why is it not reopening? That's dumb. Why is it not reopening? So, like, oh, you got the one thing. That's dumb. Very stupid. Come on. Alright, this means we have 100% now! Do, 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 do! Do, 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 do! There's still more than 100%. Seems a little strange that this game goes up to more than 100% with the badges. Because, like, I feel like if you want a game that goes up about more than 100%, like DK64, you have to have, like, a genuine secret that you don't know about until you find it to go up higher. And it's like, ah, oh, what? But this, like, we can see that there are still three missing badges. One from the weird guy. Uh, I don't know about any of the others, though. Oh, the base game was 100%, they added more. Okay, now that makes sense. Okay, so we want Unbreakable Strength, obviously. Ah, I see. Okay, that makes sense. Let's see, what else do we want? I do like the super long range. That's always very fun. And what else? What else? I want to get Fragile Greed equipped. That would be nice. Let's do Soul Catcher. Soulcatcher is just so good. Yeah, my greed might need a repair, if especially if I'm grinding up Geo. So for that, I have to go to over here in the Fungal Wastes. So the nearest stag station to that is... Oh. It's the city storerooms. Yeah, there was no there was no way I would have streamed Hollow Knight back then, because back in 2017 I had only been doing internet stuff for a year. I was deep into lemmings back then. Sorry, Grandma. About killing that person, not about being deep into lemmings. Wait, hang on. Oh, wait. There's not a shortcut through here. 
even though on the map it looked like there was. Okay, that's no big deal. We can still do this. We just have to go a little bit farther out of our way. Ouch. You will, <laughs> you will die. Oh yeah, so much has changed. Well, ba <gasps> my, my whole setup is much different. Back then I used a microphone that was like 10 bucks that I basically had to have in my mouth to for you to hear me. Terrible audio quality. Back then I did 25 Let's Plays in a single year because I literally just recorded all the time and uploaded multiple videos a day. And yes, you get what you pay for in that regard. Which is why I feel like the first 36 or so Let's Plays of mine just kind of stink. With some exceptions, obviously. Some of the Humongous Entertainment Let's Plays are still funny. And if you like Lemmings, my Lemmings Let's Plays are also good. If, however, you're like, man, I want a quality Let's Play of Donkey Kong Country. It's like, <laughs> not, not mine! <laughs> not that one! <laughs> But that's okay. I think pretty much every Let's Player in existence is like, oh man, my early Let's Plays are so bad. It's just, it's part of the territory. I consider, I can't remember the exact year. I just know, like, the first Let's Play that I look back on and I'm like, yeah, that was just genuinely a great entertaining series at least in my opinion, was my Harvest Moon 64 Let's Play. Which I think was Let's Play number 37 or 39? Can't remember which year that was. That was either... Let's see, I started Let's Playing in 2016, so that would be 2017 or 2018. Hey, happy advanced birthday, DX. Wow! wow. <laughs> That's exactly what I have to say about that. And even then, I wouldn't say my content was consistently good back then. I, by the way, I don't even necessarily think my content is consistently good now. It all depends on what you like. And sometimes oh, I try things are that... Are you having cake? Sometimes I try things that don't work. The only gift you want are pictures of cats. You know, we can make that happen. No, I do I do want to repair that. Fragile greed repair. Thank you, Gollum. I'm so greedy. <laughs> Alright. Back to the stag station, and we're going over to the old kingdom. I will try to remember that Tuesday is your birthday, and I will try to post some cute cat pictures. In the cute section of the Discord. <laughs> Oh wait, this is a dead end. We remember the Elder. I don't- I genuinely do not remember that Elder. <laughs> you, you know, my bad memory and all that. <laughs> oh, and you guys know what's gonna happen. We're gonna head over, so... I can't remember how much Geo... I think we need, like, 4,500 Geo to get the last nail upgrade. So depending on how long that takes, if there's some time afterwards and if I'm feeling up for it, we may upgrade the nail and then attempt the next Zote fight. We, who knows? <laughs> I'm pretty confident I can beat all the Zote fights at this point because I've got the strategy down. You just equip all the strength boosting stuff. Just 4,000. Okay. Oh, shoot. That was dumb. I hate those exploding bats. 
They come out of nowhere and they just blow you up. Take away a bunch of damage and they don't even give you money. I feel like this stag station is one of the, the least frequently used. I feel like it's just kind of far away from everything. <laughs> it feels... Okay, to be honest, it feels weird that I'm 26. Because I still feel like I'm 16. Partly because I physically haven't really aged since I've been 16. And I'm still not at the point where I'm like, ooh, I have back pain. Like, I'm still... I still feel good. Alright. So, King Station, we head on over this way. Forever 21. <laughs> See, for me... I don't... No, 16 wasn't, like, the last, like, milestone. Obviously, like, 18 and 21 are more important milestones, but... Honestly, I really felt nothing at my 21st birthday, because I know everyone's like, Oh, 21, I can legally drink alcohol now, woo! And I'm like, alcohol is disgusting. Like, <laughs> I would never take it away from other people, but like, man, I've tried so many different types of alcoholic beverages, and I'm just like, these all taste disgusting. I'll still cook with wine, but like... So go, hey, Artie, you want a beer? It's like, I can think of few things I would have want less. Oh, that's right, I do have the arcane egg. Wow, that is a lot of geo for a single hopper. That's fun. I guess I just... I don't see the appeal of alcoholic beverages. I'm like, oh boy, it tastes bitter and burns on the way down. And if you drink too much of it, you lose control of yourself. How do people like this? Like, I get I get back in the day why you would drink alcohol, because that was, like, the only way of ensuring that what you drink is safe. Because back then, they didn't really have clean water, and the alcohol does kill bacteria, so... That was, like, the safe way of actually getting hydrated, but... I, yeah. I know I'm in the minority for that one, but... Let me just say that. Man, that makes socializing with people my age very difficult, because pretty much all they want to do is go out and uh, drink. I'm like, no. How about mini golf? <laughs> do they have beer at the mini golf? The answer is no. Again, I'm still grateful for alcohol. I use red wine in cooking uh, a decent amount. It's delicious, but of course it's delicious when you slow cook beef in it all day and it cooks all the alcohol out. <laughs> I prefer Boba Fett to Boba Tea. Yeah, I mean, I, I respect it. Again, no, I have no problem with people who do drink. Just try to do it responsibly. Is what I would encourage. Because, I guess for me, it's like, alright, so you've got... Because I know there's some alcoholic beverages that don't taste bitter, they don't burn on the way down. My, I'm like, I'd, I, it either tastes like alcohol, in which case, to me, it tastes disgusting. Or it's like, alright, it's an alcoholic beverage, but you can't taste the alcohol. It's like, why would I want it to be an alcoholic beverage then? Like, I will just order the virgin version of it, and it'll taste just as good. And it's cheaper. And I don't get tipsy from it. <laughs> I'm I'm at the point where like I 99% of what I drink is just water. I'm a water guy. Occasionally I'll have like a Sprite or a lemonade or some kind of soda, but not too often. Got to keep that slim figure and all that. 
<laughs> the babes love it. <laughs> I don't even care about it. I took a hit from that second one. Dodging both of those shotgun blasts at the time was great. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly where I'm heading. I remember there's a room with, like, a bunch of hoppers in it. There are also some big hoppers over in one of these rooms. Also, ba back in the back in the dark ages, back when I was in middle school and actually was playing soccer, I was big into Propel, which is like a flavored water. Have not had it since then. Because I don't really do physical exercise. <laughs> Sorry. Whenever we get to, like, just, oh, it's a grindy part of the game, I'm just going to talk about random stuff. Usually food. Was this the room you were thinking of? Because this has the big hoppers. And they give a lot of geo. And it's right next to this convenient little room. <laughs> Are they chonk hoppers or just big? I think they're, they're just big. Because chonk hoppers would be basically the same size, just really fat. Oh, killing the little ones is faster. Well, it's faster, but does it give more money proportionally, I guess? Could be. I could have given that guy the flower. What flower? I don't have no flower. Oh yeah, I still have the simple key. I still don't have a thousand geo after all this. This is not good. How did I dodge the shotgun blast? I don't know. There's a room where there's... Oh, here we go. That's it. Oh, this is the place. This is the place. Yeah, this is the place. Oh, look at that. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> um, I definitely never had any kind of alert like that, because I don't even know who those two characters you just mentioned are. I never, I never, didn't really watch any Arthur episodes after, like, season 12. I've seen, like, an odd episode since then, but... Especially once they went to Flash animation, that really just killed my desire to watch any new Arthur episodes. That, and the fact that I was, like, a teenager, and the newer episodes were not written really for teenagers. Some NPCs keep the flower if you give it to them, and do they, like, give you anything? Like, a badge if you do that? Or is it just like, thanks, and then you have to do the flower quest again? <laughs> oh, it's just, it just feels good. Fair enough. Oh yeah, this yeah, this is definitely the best way of making money. Ha 
Aha! The year is 1796. The United States is 20 years old. Um, I changed my follower alert. I have not changed my subscription alert, I think, ever. It's still gold banana. That said, I'm not opposed to changing my subscribe alert to something else. Especially since, as you guys know, I don't like bananas. I just like gold bananas. <laughs> Alright, we're getting there. Yes, I, I also... I do see that I'm low on HP. Don't worry. I'll be healing. It's amazing how quickly these guys reproduce. I can't even eat bananas when they're baked into things. Like, my mom makes these banana chocolate chip muffins. My siblings really like them, and they, they apparently cannot taste the banana in them at all. They're like, it just adds moisture, but it's still chocolate. No, I taste the banana. It's like the only thing I can taste in them. So I think, I'm, I, think I just have extra sensitive tastes to bananas, so... I've accepted it. I'm never going to like bananas. I'm okay with this. But let me tell you, anytime I go to the store and it's like, strawberries, $5 a pack... Apples, $2 a pound. Bananas, 30 cents a bunch. I'm like, this is not fair. <laughs> That's fine. I'm happy that there are people out there who like bananas. Just don't serve them to me. <laughs> it's true, Proxima. The, the, the only difference between me and Donkey Kong... The only one is that I don't like bananas. We are exactly the same other than that, though. Down to the red tie. <laughs> the fact that we're both gorillas secretly. And the fact that we both eventually sound like Scooby-Doo. Speaking, speaking of Donkey Kong sounding like Scooby-Doo... I really need to play Jungle Beat on stream one day. Jungle Beat is easily one of the most underappreciated games ever. Ooh! What girl what game are you playing with your girlfriend this week? Um I'm gonna go out on a limb and let's see. Jet Force Gemini? Alright, that should be enough if I sell the arcane egg. <laughs> I don't think it's dead by daylight. Ooh, Metroid Prime! That's a good one. That is my favorite Metroid game. And also my favorite first-person shooter. You're in for a treat. That one's very fun. Very well done. Another game that I would like to stream one day. Potentially. But again, I just got this massive list. Alright. Alright, we gotta sell the egg, and then... Oh, and conveniently, guys, we can sell the egg right next to where we upgrade the nail. Oh, it's perfect. I thought we were gonna have to go out of the way, but then I remembered how the map is organized. Your favorite fruit is a lychee. I have... N if that's how you pronounce it. I have no idea what they taste like. Never had one. But I would definitely try give one a try. Oh, uh... <laughs> Excuse me, sir. No lychee. 
My favorite fruit is still uh, Granny Smith apples. They are the peak of fruit. I love how tiny they are. I love I love eating them straight. I love them baked into things. They are just they're like the perfect fruit for me. If you don't like tart, though, stay away. Wait, did I miss the merchant again? I did miss the merchant. Whoops. We gotta go back. Hey, dude. Here's the arcane egg. A third arcane egg. You're an exceptional explorer to have found so many. An egg is a perfect protective form. In Hollow Nest, we use stone journals or tablets, or our text engraved on top. These eggs are far more secure. Their records are stored within. In fear of damaging the eggs, I'm only able to access the outer layer, but it's clear those in the distant past could somehow access information stored deeper within. If only I could find a way to do so. Just think of the discoveries to be made. Oh, you don't have any relics on you. Well, yeah, I didn't get the other arcane egg. But that's okay, I don't need it. I would only need it if I want enough Geo to upgrade the Fragile Greed. But I wouldn't upgrade Fragile Greed until I had enough Geo to do so. Why would you kill birds? Because birds can be delicious. Have you ever had chicken? Chicken is one of my favorite foods. And stones are valuable. You don't want to waste two stones killing two birds if you can if one can do the job. Mmm. Uh, oh, you've returned. That. I see you have some pale ore, a rare fine metal that. Give me the ore and some geo and I'll make it stronger. Yes. As you wish, I'll get to work then. How ominous. It's done. The reforging is done. Your nail is much stronger than it used to be. As strong as it could ever be. In only your weapon have I seen such potential. Finally, I behold the, mas the majesty of a pure nail. To think this moment has come upon me so soon. I... I must step outside for a moment. I hope he doesn't do the feign. I'm gonna listen to... He's not gonna, like, jump and kill himself, is he? I'm gonna listen to him. Uh, With a pure nail forged, my work in this lifetime comes to an end. My only remaining desire is to see and feel the nail strike true. I beg you, cut me down. As my final moment in life, I want to taste the blade's exquisite edge. After all this time, all this toil, haven't I earned it? Yeah, I'm not killing you. No thanks. I have no problem killing things that are trying to kill me, but I'm not just committing murder in cold blood. That's a bit much. Unless I need to do that to get a bonus boss. <laughs> DX, come on, I've killed so many people in this game. No bonus boss, there's an achievement for it. Is the achievement murderer? <laughs> no, that that guy right now, he just needs to find a new purpose in his life. Oh, leave the area and come back. <laughs> Alright. Oh. <laughs> you should have gotten out of Super Grover's way! Oh, 
Oh, look, he, I mean, he might be back in here. No, he's not back in here. Uh, where'd he go? <laughs> he has that nail there, but, uh, he's gone. Unless he's hiding back here. Is he hiding back here? Okay, I don't think he's back here. I think maybe I took a wrong turn somewhere. <laughs> okay, yeah, he's not here. We're in a completely different area. I forgot that was a shortcut to the waterway. Is he hanging out with the Nail Masters? Or maybe he's back in Dirtmouth. Where's Jeff? Is he sleeping inside? Where's Jeff? Is he still on his ride? <laughs> Is he in the countryside? <laughs> Something interesting is there, though. Is that so? Why does the map not show that that's a secret passageway you can take? <laughs> that is from the Wiggles, yes. And their hit song, Where's Jeff? Only on Spotify. Is Nail Maestro here somewhere? Or did he move to a completely different location? <laughs> he moved to a new place. Cool. I'm going back to Dirtmouth then. I almost always end streams in Dirtmouth. Yeah, he could be with the Nail Masters. The problem is, I don't remember where all the Nail Masters are. One was in the Old Kingdom. I remember that. The guy who taught the Nail Masters is in Dirtmouth, so maybe he's over there. And either way, we're approaching the end of the stream, so... Do, 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 do. We'll head to King Station, head back to Dirtmouth, maybe try a Zoat. I am very surprised I got through that. Yeah, you say their names. Again, don't... Again, it... it I don't know where they are. The main issue is not who they are. The issue is where they are. Oh. Oh. Alright, well, thank you very much for your help, Proxima. Have a great night's sleep, and I hope to see you in the future. Wrong station. I always go to the wrong station. Yeah, definitely lots to do on Monday, but we may end up finishing Hollow Knight next week, which would be pretty fun. Alright, you stag. Let's get back to Dirt Mouth. Alright. We want the unbreakable strength. That's for show. We definitely want the low HP one, and we definitely want quick slash. And probably won't now. Azura, Uttar, 
Alright, let's try stupid McZody face again. Because of course he has yet another battle. And at this point, it's probably going to be like one Zote fight per stream. Bretta should be long gone. Fearless sensual. Okay, there's no room for any more adjectives after that. Maybe one more. This fight is going really well. Okay, his little bugs now deal a lot. Okay, darn it. His bugs now deal three damage. And he deals six damage now, I think? So I'm gonna have to heal twice and get hit by him once and his bug once, I believe, to get for this fight. That's a shame, that was a good first attempt. Oh, he actually, he might hit for 7 HP, you're right. Well, if he does hit for 7 HP, if I get hit by him once, it instantly activates the low HP power boost. Nope, okay. So we heal twice. And now, when he summons his little minions again, we're gonna... Oh. That was weird, it wouldn't let me jump. Okay, that yeah, that's the strat, though. Get hit by him once, heal twice, get hit by the bug. Or the other, or opposite order. But then we'll be at 1 HP. And extra power. It, it, it's Mega Rush strats from Paper Mario all over again. And we know how much the Mega Rush strats helped me out in the uh, level 0 playthrough. Quick Slash is really useful in this fight. It just wrecks him. Oh no! If only he. Mm. If only I could heal a little bit more quickly, but with our badge setup, we cannot equip the quick focus. Do 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 <laughs> That's fine. Good night, DX. Yeah, we will not be doing anything else after the Zote fight. Well, that didn't last long, goodness me. Good night, DX. Have a good night's sleep. Hacha. Why do I get the feeling that either A, the Zot fights are never going to end, or B, I'm going to get no reward for doing it? It's just a feeling I have. Uh, I don't think I blew that up, but apparently I did. Sure, hope I can beat him by then. Well, 
Well, so much for the pogo. I'm quite confident we can beat him within 23 minutes. I came close to beating him on my first attempt. The flying zotes are a lot more annoying than the ground zotes. That attack is the worst. If he starts doing that attack while you're in the middle of attacking him, like, good luck! You're probably taking a hit. This is like Cuphead, where you could just really quickly retry a fight if you lose to it. Okay, well that was just a no-win situation! How are you supposed to get out of that? That's not fair. Doggone it. If you get cornered, descending dark is usually the answer. I, I hate using the soul attacks. Because I feel like after you use them, you can just get hit and there's nothing you can do about it. Not to mention you have to jump in the air in order to do it. Oh, you jumped way more than you normally do. Yeah, he's down! Ah, ah. Alright, and now there's another freaking battle against him. This ba this next zone fight actually might be easier than this one, because I think if we get hit by zone once, we just instantly go into the super danger zone. Precept 8, travel alone, you can't rely- you can rely on nobody, and nobody will be, always be loyal. Therefore, nobody should be your constant companion. You're talking to nobody. I'm guessing there's still another Zote fight, even after this one, where it's just like, you got hit, you dead. Which would really suck. Kaboom! It's now off-screen invincible, Fearless. Uh, we'll see if you're invincible. Imagine if this fight it ups his damage so it's just he one-hit kills you. Nope, cool. That was weird. Why didn't I kill the bug above me? I was swinging up. 
Yeah, I think this Zote battle will actually be easier than the last one. Just because we can really abuse the Mega Rush strats. Oh man, if only there was something like second chance from Kingdom Hearts in this game. Where it's like, oh, do you have more than one H... If you have more than one HP that, uh... You can't get killed in one hit. You can only get killed if you're at exactly one HP. Because com the combine that with peril strats, that would be amazing. Having said that, if there is a Deversote battle after this and he just kills you in one hit... <laughs> That's not going to be fun. But we've run we've run out of room for new adjectives. So like surely this is the last fight, right? I wish the shadow dash worked more consistently cuz I feel like it only works when it actually wants to work. I know it's on a timer, but it really feels like it should work more than it does. Darn you. His explosions that he summons can definitely screw you up. Yeah, if there's another fight after this, I won't be able to take advantage of Peril Strats, unless I only get hit by his little buggies. So I might need to adjust my strategy. Darn. Those guys got in my way. I wish you could equip more charms. The one the badge that increases your power when you're at 1 HP that doesn't, like, double your attack power, right? It just increases it slightly. Ah! I realized the bomb was there too late. It's a 75% it Whoa! Okay. That's a lot more than I thought it was. I thought it was just like an extra plus one attack power. Oh, Fragile Strength increases at exp- I thought it just increased your attack power by one. Oh man, so that combo together is crazy. Okay, sometimes you jump at the end of the dash, and sometimes you don't. And if you don't jump at the end of the dash, you get hit by that. I think it's like a very tight timing where, like, right at the end of the dash you can jump. And if you don't, then you won't be able to jump for a little bit. And that is too much time to dodge that. No, 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 no. Oh, 
I thought I killed that guy two different times at that point. Once with, uh, like... I guess my nail just barely whiffed him both times. Because, of course, it did. I definitely dislike boss fights where they can just summon a bunch of small enemies that cover the screen. That always makes things really annoying. I should have knocked him down by then. Yeah, this guy's definitely annoying. And again, there should only be one Dream Zote fight, not 18,756. <laughs> Like, I know all of the moves that he can do, it's just some of his moves require lightning-fast reflexes. There we go! Please be the last Zote fight. There's no more room for any more adjectives. No, of course there's still another one after that. Am I actually getting any essence for that fight, by the way? I don't think so. Precept 9, keep your home tidy. Your home is where you keep the most prized possession, yourself. Therefore, you should make an effort to keep it nice and clean. Sure. Oh, sure, Wayne Nut. Feeling tired, that bit. I know. So you don't really say anything new. You found a new nail, then. It looks much a finer weapon than the last. Hmm? Oh, this is the same nail, but it's been honed by someone extremely skilled. A nail is an extension of ourselves. It is the instrument by which we shape the world around us. It's a sacred duty to keep its edges sharp. Heh, <laughs> sorry I shouldn't ramble on like that. Let's talk Geo instead. You don't have anything left for me, though. I see they've opened the mapping shop across the way. I suppose a little competition is healthy. Perhaps I should start to sell maps as well. Or is that a little aggressive? <laughs> All's fair in the world of Geo. How are your travels, Nail Master? As time goes by, I'm sure you'll only grow stronger. If you see your fellow Nail Masters again, tell them I carry them in my thoughts always. And that they should come by and buy something for their own teacher as a mark of respect. Unless I can beat Zote again in ten minutes. Well, the next fight, the next Zote fight, I won't be able to get down to one HP. Unless I equip one of these fans here that increases my max HP. Ooh, actually, wait. How much does this... Probably not. So maybe... So if I equip Long Nail, I could instead equip something else. Like maybe... No, I'm used to Steady Body at this point. That... Well, again. We're basically doing this damage list, so... Hmm... Maybe Sprint Master? Or I can hunt down the last Mask Shard so I have one. That's right! There is another Mask Shard somewhere. I have no idea where that is, though. Uh... Was that the thing you were giving me the hint about in the sewers? Just out of curiosity? Where I was there and you're like, there's something interesting here. I mean, regardless, we're out of time for this stream tonight. But yes, you are correct. That might be the best bet, is to hunt down the mask la the last Mask Shard to get 1 HP. So we can technically do the damage strats against Zote again. 
But something tells me if we do that, there will be another Zolt fight waiting after that to be like, nope, no matter what, there's going to be a Zolt fight where you just die in one hit, which would suck. But, alas, we are out... We are out of time for today. Thank you so much for your help, everybody. It was great talking with you all. And I'm glad we made, managed to make a lot more progress in this stream compared to the last one. So that's very nice. Uh, it looks like Saturday we will be continuing the Mario Sunshine streams, which will be very fun. And then we'll be continuing Hollow Knight next week, Monday and Wednesday. So it looks like we're wrapping things up for Hollow Knight pretty shortly. We, I'm not going to say we definitely finish next week, but we very well might. Especially if I don't continue with the Arenas, unless there's even more stuff that I am missing, which could be possible. So, I wish you all a fantastic rest of your night. God bless everybody.